hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching my video um, in today's video I'll be putting together a beginners makeup starter kit as you can see with the title um, yeah I just decided let me put this um, kit together for anybody that's starting out with their makeup journey anybody that loves makeup anybody that wants to learn how to do makeup on their face but don't know how where to start so I'm just gonna show you give you a list of some of the products that I like to use that are very affordable and um, you can get them either at clicks or just scam well there's other stores as well I'll mention them but yeah um, I know I haven't been posting in a while I've been MIA but anyway I'm back so let's do this um, before we start please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, I'm almost on 250 subscribers and thank you so much to everybody that subscribed even in my long absence um, it really means a lot to me so yeah let's get more people subscribing and get to like 500 let's just grow this small community um, yeah so let's just get straight into the video so the first thing that you're gonna need is a eyebrow pencil and I like to use the Essence Brow Designer Pencil in the color 02 Brown. You can get this at clicks and it's about 30 bucks. So as I'm going along, I'll be giving you an estimation of what the products are because some I don't really remember exactly what they are. But um, I'll list all of them in the description box and exactly where I got them. And um, by the way, every thing that I'm gonna list here, I used it on my face today. So I use this brown pencil for my brows, and um, yeah, you can get it at clicks. And then the next thing that you're gonna need is concealer. There's different types of concealers. There's cream concealers, liquid concealers, blah, blah, blah. But the concealers that I like to use are the LA Girl Pro Concealers, and um, here they are, but this is not my shade. This is Cool Tan. Um, I use the color Fawn. It's just that it's finished right now. I had to squeeze it out. So, yeah, you can get these at Discam and they are about 60 bucks. And then the next thing that you need for your eyebrows, well, for your makeup kit, is eyeshadow. And I get most of my eyeshadow palettes from Discam, but you can get them anywhere. Okay, actually, I get them everywhere. Clicks, wherever. But I like the Beauty Treat um, palettes because they're very affordable and they always have like a lot of colors. And if you're starting out as a beginner, you obviously want to buy things that are affordable and you're probably working on a budget. But if you're not, you can find eyeshadows everywhere. Online, Instagram boutiques, clicks, Woolworths, different brands, Revlon, blah, blah, blah. The list is endless. But the one that I will recommend is this... Um, Pro Deluxe palette from Discam. I really really like this palette because um, it's got bronzer and a few blushes and then here are the colors. Um, I'm sorry if it's dirty. I mean I use it all the time. So yeah, I think this was about 180 bucks. Very very affordable. And another one that I want to recommend is the also from Beauty Treats at Discam. This one has a lot of colors. I know it can be a little bit overwhelming if you're just starting out, but you're spoiled for choice. So you'll just always play around with all these colors. And this one is about 200 bucks. So you can decide which one you wanna use. So these are the colors that I used. I used this green and I used this um, brownish color as a transition color and I also use the lighter green so there's a lot of colors to play around with you know you can go wild honestly there's shimmery ones actually this is one of my favorite palettes honestly speaking I love it um, I've had it for a while and I'm still gonna be doing different looks with it so yeah and then the next thing you're going to need is eyeliner so the eyeliner that I really, really, really love, well, this is a gel liner. It's from Inglet. Um, yeah, this is a little bit pricey. It's, okay, I forgot the price, but I will try and find the price and put it in the description box. But I think it was like 
two something 200 and something rand so and it's worth it i've had it since december and it's actually still kind of full well not really but like <laughs> It's not like about to be finished anytime soon and I use it on myself and I also use it on my clients um, I use it for wing liner I also use it um, for my waterline like today I used it for that so it's like a two-in-one you don't need to buy a pencil if you buy this you can just have this and have this for a while and I also use when you buy this um, get this thin eyeliner pencil from this um from color it was 35 bucks so this combo trust me you're going to be okay waterline wing liner everything this is all you need like you don't even need a pencil you this is all you need okay so this is my favorite combo i don't use anything else so yeah and then the next thing you're going to need is mascara mascara comes in all kinds of mascaras honestly there's everything cheap expensive all of that thin you know it just depends on the type of lashes that you have if you want like a thin um a flexible brush like this or a full one different colors you know um it's up to you but yeah this is a essence mascara and I think it was about 65 rand and yeah it's very good I like it I use it before I put on my fake lashes and I also use it for my under lashes okay and now moving on to skin so this is the biggest problem for a lot of people always asking what foundation do you use what's the best foundation what color so many questions what i can tell you about foundation is that sometimes you just need to try out different kinds of foundations and also you just need to read what the foundation is saying because there's different foundations for different types of skin if you have oily skin they they if you have dry skin they they so and for different types of events there's long wear you know there's complete coverage full coverage light coverage all kinds but so i'm actually gonna mention a few um foundations that i like to use and you will decide so my favorite foundation of all time like i love this foundation i don't know maybe i'm still gonna try out different ones but so far this is my favorite foundation the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup is a really, really good foundation. It's a bit pricey. I think it's like 600, 700. You can get it at Woolworths, um, Edgar's, and I think Truett's. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a really good foundation. It doesn't transfer and it stays in place. And I just love it. Like, it's full coverage. Literally, it lasts the entire day so that's a high-end foundation that i like but a cheaper foundation that i use today is this wet and wild foundation that i bought at clicks and this is a hundred bucks it's so good i actually use it almost all the time the estee lauder one i do use it but you know because it's expensive i just like don't just throw it on all the time but this is like a more everyday kind of wear so and it's also very good if you're starting out of course you should start out with something affordable so yeah wet and wild i like this one as well and another foundation that i really like is the l'oreal infallible um 24 hour fresh wear foundation this is also really 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 good um it's full coverage and it's actually right after the Estee Lauder one for me like when I rank them um, it's yeah it's very good it's it stays on all day it really covers up everything there's no need for you to like put on um, concealer to cover any dark marks or anything like that so this is completely full coverage and it's about 200 and something rand you can get it at clicks and discount as well and then another foundation that's very good that everybody likes to use is the fit me um, foundation 
so I bought a shade that was too light and then I just bought a dark dark shade and when I do use them I just mix them and I achieve my complexion like if that happens to you you should also consider doing that because sometimes you'll buy a foundation and it's too light and you can't take it back and take your color so just buy another one that's like lighter or darker and mix them and it might work out of course it's gonna be easier to do that if the foundation is cheap like this one because this is a hundred rand so yeah so those are the foundations that i like to use oh and also the nyx total drop foundation i also really really love this foundation it just blends into the skin so well that's why i love it i really don't like to put on too much foundation like i like to cover my face but i don't want to look cakey and you know sometimes it even just feels heavy so i like foundations that cover you and you don't need much and that's the case with my faith you know a little goes a long way so it's expensive but you can have it for the entire year so you decide but yeah this is also good and it's also about 200 and something you can get it at nyx cosmetics um so now i'm gonna move on to powder oh no actually i skipped primer primer as well there's a lot of primers i am currently using this maybelline master prime um anti dullness primer oh, guys so sorry for the light like yeah this is the primer that i am using it's got brightening pigments there's different kinds of primers as well there's primers for oily skin dry skin just read the product before you get it but a few good affordable ones is the maybelline baby skin one is also good the la girl one is also good the l'oreal infallible primer is also good yardly um illuminating primer is also good it's all of these are about a hundred and something, two hundred and something, somewhere there. You'll just it depends on your budget. But yeah, you need a primer to put on before you put on foundation, just so that the foundation stays on your skin and lasts longer and also it protects your skin. So yeah, now I'm gonna move on to concealer to highlight, right? So today I've highlighted with this NYX Cosmetics um can't stop won't stop concealer and it's in the color golden honey when i actually got it i thought it was too light for me but i think i'm getting used to it i actually like it it's it's light but you know i like it so usually if i like try a concealer and i see that it's too it was too light for me um if i was trying to highlight i just like use a darker kind of powder to just bring it back that makes sense to me <laughs> so yeah um this is the concealer that i use this is 130 rand at clicks um it's very nice actually it's creamy like to highlight i like it i also like the la girl um, pro concealers but i just wanted to try out different products and see what works best so as i said before the la girl pro concealer are very good for your eyebrows um this I'd use to highlight. Um, that's very good for that. And also the LA Girl Pro Contour um, Palette. This is about 120 bucks. So you can use the dark part to contour. I'm not really big on contouring, especially with a cream product. But on days when I feel like, let me just contour, you know, and look snatched. I use it and I use this part to do my eyebrows because it's creamy and yeah you can use these products in a lot of different ways guys you don't have to be limited it's your makeup you bought it you make the rules so yeah now I'm gonna move on to powder and very affordable powder I actually bought this powder at clicks when they were having those like three for two specials and those ones are very good guys like if you want to really like collect makeup and have like a proper makeup kit you should go buy makeup when they have those sales at clicks because those are good like i've gotten a lot of stuff like you can get like stuff they always have these like especially yardley and revlon they always have these um 
spend 250 and get a free gift and all that i've gotten like mascara and you can collect like you just need to look out for such specials so these next powders i bought um at a three for two special so this is a yardley stay fast uh press powder that i use today and then this is also another press powder it's a bit darker i use it to contour and it just broke today so ish I'm gonna have to get a new one but yeah that's what I use they're very good and I think alone they like less than a hundred rand so yeah Yardley is also a very good brand their quality is proper so I really like that and then the next thing that I use is um, that you'll need is blush um, blush you can use if you buy the palette this beauty treats palette that I was talking about there's blushes in here these ones so you can use these or you can just buy a separate blush if you don't buy this palette um, I use the Kate Rimmel um, blush palette and I've also had this for a while it lasts really really long I think I've had it for yeah a long time like almost a year so yeah and they also have a bronzer so you can try that i really like the blush i used it as well i like using the darker one and sometimes there's a shimmery one as well so yeah and then i am going to oh yeah guys i'm rambling i'm rambling i'm even forgetting things but anyway so you need a setting powder to set your concealer so we're just gonna have to go back a little bit <laughs> you need a um loose powder yeah loose powder and my favorite loose powder is the one from yardley this works on all skin types i think it's about 150 rand also very affordable from clicks um you use it to set your concealer so i used it to set my concealer after i highlighted under my eyes with this concealer and here and over my nose and just here so this is really good so yeah and then the next thing is highlighter bronzer whatever you want to call it um, I just recently got this wet and wild highlighter from clicks um, it was also on sale it was I think 80 bucks and it's very very nice like I just used a little bit of it on my nose and over here not too much and I highlighted my brow bone oh okay brow bone actually you can see when I'm doing this like it's popping yeah so it's very nice very very nice so you can get this highlighter and the next thing is lips um, lips I have this really really affordable um creamy matte lip palette from catrice cosmetics which you can get at discam and this was very cheap it was under 100 rand and they have like different kinds of colors and stuff so yeah it's it's matte they also even have like a lip um primer here so yeah it's very very affordable and different colors so if you want to try that out otherwise obviously lipstick there's all kinds of lipstick cheap expensive and in between it's up to you you'll decide and also lip liners I have a few lip liners that I always get from essence cosmetics um, they're very affordable they can range from about 20 rands to 40 bucks um, you'll just decide which one you want so today I actually used this one the brown one and I used the which color I think I used one of these colors to the nude one and then I topped it off with this Catrice um, Cosmetics Volumizing Lip Gloss also from Discam it's very good and it's about a hundred rand every time it gets finished I always go and buy it I really 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 like it um, yeah and then the last thing is setting spray 
Um, my favorite setting spray of all time is the Woolworths setting spray and they've actually just changed their packaging um, oh Guys, I'm sorry for the lighting, okay, yo, but I think you can see it. Yeah This is the W Beauty makeup setting spray And it's hundred and thirty bucks. I really really like it. I use it on myself on my clients um it's so hydrating like after you've put on makeup all the powder all these things that i've been showing you you just need something to bring back the moisture and seal everything in like this thing locks in my makeup all day i can put on makeup in the morning i can take it off like late at night so this is very very good i like the price i like the quantity it is other setting sprays from different brands another setting spray that i really like is the nyx one so yeah currently i'm actually testing out different kinds of setting sprays because every time this one is always out of stock so i need another like second option because sometimes i can wait this one will get finished and it's always out of stock so i just decided let me try out different um setting sprays and i'll be doing reviews on that so you can check that out on my instagram page um how that's gonna go so yeah that's everything that you need for a basic makeup beginner starter kit to get a face like this oh and lashes um my lashes i always get them everywhere discam clicks china mall china mall has a lot of lashes guys like all kinds of styles like even these ones that you see that people are selling on the gram like they are there at China Mall and they are very cheap. Like, you can get them for like 30 bucks, 20 bucks. I got these ones at China Mall um, and you can reuse them a lot of times. So, I really, really like those lashes from there. It's just that obviously it's not like very convenient. Sometimes China, China Mall is like out of town and all of those things. But when you do get a chance to go, you should go. And also, you can find a lot of brushes there, a lot of makeup brushes at China Mall. You can find like a whole set for like 200 rand or you can get really good quality makeup brushes from Clicks. Um, Real Techniques has very good brushes. They last really long. Discam. Um, it just depends on your budget and how much you're willing to spend really. So brushes are everywhere. And another thing, hmm, just trying to see if I'm leaving something out. But yeah, that's pretty much what my makeup kit my starter kit consists of um and i hope that this was very informative and i hope it helps you and yeah all the best with collecting your makeup baby steps you can collect a few items um every month until you get to a point where you have everything you need for your face as you can see it doesn't cost that much you don't even need to break your bank to lick beat honey okay so yeah thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on social media i'll leave my handles in the description box below thank you bye